Good morning, I am Tracy Spence with your newscast. This newscast is brought to you courtesy of BioLife Energy Systems. Come join the live-in. Call them at 800-875-5433. USA Credit Repair, the key to beautiful credit. You may call them at 800-786-1330. And cruising with the case handler, a show on a personal injury and immigration on weekdays 8.30 a.m. on Saturdays 7 p.m. and 12 noon on Sundays. Now for the news in details. Jamaica's tourism minister Edmund Bartlett says the sector's investment climate remains buoyant as evidenced by the number of projects on track for completion despite the impact of the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. Bartlett, who was speaking during the Jamaica Hotel and Tourist Association's JHTA online annual general meeting on September 18, reiterated that 90% of the planned investments are still on target. These, he said, include a 1,700-room hotel to be constructed in St. James, a 2,000 rooms planned for Green Island in Hanover, and a tourism development program for Kingston and Port Royal. Additionally, Bartlett said the ministry received further confirmation that the proposed Sandals Resort development projects were still on. The minister contended that this level of investment buoyant results from tourism stakeholders' confidence in the ability of a sector and by extension Jamaica to bounce back from COVID-19 and as such are looking at finishing projects started. The Supreme Court has reserved judgment in the crucial legal battle between Salado Foods and the Jamaica Agricultural Commodities Regulatory Authority, JACRA. Presiding Supreme Court Judge Justice Anne-Marie Namhard reserved her judgment until mid-October, having heard two days of legal submissions from both parties. Salada took Jackra to court, having filed a lawsuit to block the Agricultural Produce Regulatory Authority from effecting an order mandating the company to use a 30% local coffee content in its blended coffee. Salada is a seeking, among other things, leave to apply for judicial review to seek orders of Seratorium and Mamandos. The legal remedies are being sought by Salada, which is challenging Jackra's 30% local coffee content in position in the formulation of its instant coffee blend. The effective date of the directive was September 1, 2020, but Salada took the matter to court before the directive could be put in effect. As a result, there is a stay of the order pending the outcome of the case. At present, Salada uses 10% local coffee in its blend of instant coffee, but the company is resisting the increased local coffee content on the grounds that it will change its instant coffee formula, which will be detrimental to the company's cost of sales. Meanwhile, Jamaica has decided not to enter into new oil hedging arrangements given the contraction in the economy and the country's costly war with the coronavirus. At the request of the Minister of Finance, Dr. Nigel Clark, five months ago, the Bank of Jamaica began looking into whether new hedging arrangements were feasible for Jamaica, a request, a request sparked by the short-lived but historic descent of oil prices into negative territory in April. Clark, who had been reappointed to the position of finance minister following the September 3rd general election, in which the incumbent party was victorious, had asked the central bank to work with a finance ministry team on the review. Hedges serve to lock in prices and are useful risk management tools, especially in volatile markets. But such contracts are complex and expensive and may not pay off if the purchase of the hedge misreads or miscalculates market direction. In sports, the Jamaica Football Federation, in conjunction with its counterparts from the United States, has decided to forego two friendly internationals which were being negotiated to be played in October. The Federation said the continued rise in numbers of COVID-19 has forced the postponement of both games for health and safety reasons. The Federation said it will continue to seek opportunities to play games in preparation for the World Cup qualifiers, which starts in June next year. And that is it for the news. This newscast came to you courtesy of BioLife Energy Systems. Come join the live-in. Call them at 800-875-5433. USA Credit Repair, the key to beautiful credit. You may call them at 800-786-1330. And cruising with the case handler, a show on a personal injury and immigration weekdays 8.30 a.m. on Saturdays 7 p.m. and 12 noon on Sundays. On behalf of the news and production team, I am Tracy Spence to have a good morning.